it's Wednesday morning and we are in a state of confusion about my health right now because I woke up and my throat was a little bit sore. I had that feeling like right around here, the side of the back of my throat or whatever. It was like dry. I didn't feel bad. My body felt just fine. It was just my throat was feeling kind of eh. So that's not a good sign for me because that means that I could be getting like a sore throat or something like that, which could be the result of the cold air, which I hate. And this is why I don't like winter because it's always like the most vulnerable time of the year for me. Like someone who's trying to stay healthy, someone who's trying not to get sick. I'm doing whatever I can right now to ensure that I don't get sick. I've been taking my vitamins as usual, eating consistently, and so I'm just trying not to get sick or anything, and I'm trying to stay indoors as much as possible. And right now, I am gonna be finishing up my laundry right here. As you can see, it's a sunny day. It's a nice day, but my hands are actually so cold from taking the trash out this morning, and that was a little bit less than an hour ago. So I kind of almost freaked out a little bit this morning because I like heard someone taking their trash out, and then I looked outside and I'm like, okay, no one came by to pick up the trash yet, so <laughs> I'm gonna run up there, run upstairs and get my stuff and then bring it all down. So it was like a really quick, <laughs> get it done. And then I'm gonna be doing some other stuff today. I feel like I'm gonna take a nap earlier than normal today because crap, what? <laughs> Anyway, sorry, I thought I got a notification from someone, um, but anyway, I just got up from a nap, hence I might look a little bit like that. I got a little bit woken up by my friend who just got down that I was talking about in the last vlog, I think, where he's going down to Walt Disney World area for an interview at Disney Reservation Center, so he kind of woke me up like, I'm here, down at the Orlando Airport waiting to be picked up by Magical Express just to be taken off to his resort to just gonna do like a staycation type thing, just long enough for him to do the it's interview and come back up, but anyway. He's like, I'm here. I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> you know, and he's like, you sound like you just woke up from a nap. I'm like, I did. He was like, go back to sleep. Okay, fine. So anyway, I was just catching up with him and I also woke up partially because I was like, one of my roommates that lives here was like closing doors really loudly. I think he was taking a shower or something because you see my bed's right here. On the other side, there's a wall like right there. It's a corner thing. And so basically their shower is on the other side of that wall and I could hear when I say them taking a shower, it sounds kind of creepy, but I could hear like the shower running. I could hear every time he closed the door, it was like, you know, it's, you know what it sounds like. And so I was just, oh my Lord, it was just loud multiple times, like at least five times closing the door. So I was like, what the heck? Less than five minutes ago, after I woke up and got dressed and everything, it sounded like some kind of loud truck had just slammed his door shut, but it was our front door. It happened to be opening up the blinds over there right at the same time that it was happening. And then he's walking out, and I'm like, I guess he's going to the gym or something, and this is like his way of hyping himself up or something, because usually my brothers and I will take a pre-workout or something. I don't know. Anyway, I cleaned up a lot. This used to have like three or four boxes stacked up all the way up to about here, and then this side right over there had like probably about two or three boxes stacked up. So I cleaned all that up today. More of that stuff is going to be organized. So much easier to get around and get through here and stuff that I move. I usually keep my laptop bag over there, but it's not going to happen anymore. I want to have it cleaned up and stuff and look nice. I generally try to get my room looking almost like hotel worthy, almost spotless. That's a work in progress. It always is because I always bring stuff home. So I don't know if I'm going to go to the gym or not, but I am going to get a shake and then I need to go grocery shopping. I just <laughs> don't really feel like it because it means I would like go to Walmart or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll change it up and go to Target instead because anything that I really need, I can probably get a Target too and I like going to Target a lot better than going to Walmart, so <laughs> I think that's kind of a, a common thing amongst people unless you're like diehard trying to save money or something like that, I don't know, like it's not that big of a difference. Home from the grocery store and I did not go to the gym, but I just finished dinner a little while ago I was watching like Pokemon. I wanted to mention that since I've been using this thing called Shopkick, if you haven't heard of it yet, it's an app that basically awards you points that you can use towards gift cards and other rewards, but basically the way it works is you walk into a store such as Walmart or Target, Kmart, Food Lion, whatever, CVS, Old Navy, like it's not just grocery stores, but the ones that I walk into the most are probably Target and Walmart. And so tonight I walked in, I went into both, and you can get what's called kicks that can be used to eventually earn you rewards such as gift cards to different places, including the ones you shop at or whatever. So tonight, for example, I went to Walmart, and this is just kind of what it looks like, um, you can see right there, but I went to Walmart, and you can get like 30 kicks. I got kicks for just walking in. 
that's all it was. And then I also got points for, uh, or kicks, for just simply even scanning like one product. You can scan one general product and then one of each kind that they specify, such as like a Hershey brand or like cereal or something like that. I didn't get either one of those. I did at Target. I actually was going to do a little haul here. I wanted to try out the dried mangoes by Simply Balanced because I love dried fruit, mainly just mango and pineapple though. Like any other kind of exotic fruit I love. Also, Ghirardelli, the sea salt soiree. This stuff is amazing and it's dark chocolate so it's a little healthier. And actually, I actually like the taste of it better than milk chocolate. But last but not least, Sour Patch Kids. It's my guilty pleasure and it's my way of carving it up after a long day or whatever. I'll just pop like 10 of them. I won't even need that whole bag. Like that bag will take me at least a week to finish. So like I said, this app is great. It's simple. You just scan stuff. You just click on the scan button and then you put your camera up to the barcode and that's it. It makes all kinds of cool little noises and everything. I'm going to be earning points towards Target gift cards. That's my goal. It's just to get Target gift cards that can be used towards getting like Disney gift cards that you can use to you get vacations and stuff down to Walt Disney World, Disneyland and stuff. Other than that, there's like Starbucks gift cards, which I always am accepting. So if you ever want to give me a gift, Starbucks it is, or Target. I'm going to be calling it a night here because I'm going to be editing this vlog. Got the stuff that I just showed you to keep my creative juices flowing. I'm going to be putting my pills down and everything because I am trying so hard not to get sick because it's been super cold here. We had a cold front come through for like the last three or four days and it's just not been fun at all. So I'm just doing whatever I can. That's why I kind of sound a little bit, I don't know if I sound like maybe horse or something. I'll find out after I've done editing the vlog and everything. Hopefully I come across clear to you guys. And yeah, that's about it. So have a good night, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe. And thank you.